Welcome. From today, we are going to learn about the factors affecting expression of the clone genes in the E. coli. A foreign gene now it has been cloned into the expression vector and now the expression vector now it is in the E. coli host. What will be the our requirement that a gene it has to be expressed at a higher level? For the expression of the gene at a higher level, one of the factor it is a promoter strength and the another factors which are there, they are the transcriptional termination, plasmid copy number, plasmid stability, host cell physiology, translational initiation sequences, codon choice and the mRNA structure. These are the factors which are responsible for the optimal expression of the genes in the E. coli. One by one we are going to learn all these factors in the incoming videos. Today's video it is regarding the promoter strength. Now what do you mean by the promoter strength? The strength of a promoter that is how many RNA copies are synthesized per unit time per enzyme molecule depends on how close its sequence is to the conscious. Now we have learned the structure of the promoter. The promoter structure it is consisting of the minus 10 region okay minus 10 region and it is consisting of the minus 35 region. And the minus 10 and the minus 35 region, it is separated by the 17 to 90 base pairs. The another uh, promoters, they may consisting of the upstream regions or the minus 10 with the extended, extended regions. It, it may be present into a promoter. But the promoter which has been found on in most of the genes, it is the promoter which is consisting of the minus 10 and the minus 35 region separated by the 17 to 19 base pairs. Now, when you look at the minus 10 region sequences, it has a conscious sequence and it is a TAT, AAT and the minus 35 conscious sequence is a, it is the TTGACA. Okay, so these are the conscious sequences. When a promoter, okay, when a promoter, it has these conscious sequences at that time, RNA polymerases is efficient to load over the promoter because these conscious sequences, it is going to work like as an address for the RNA polymerases. Any change into this address at that time, what will happen? The loading of the RNA polymerases, it will not be efficient one. It is like how you have given the address to your friend to come home. If the, uh, if the address given it is a perfect, then there will be no difficulty for your friend to find out your home. But if you are going to make any mistake into the address, then what will happen? There will be number of difficulties. It will arise when your friend it is going to find your home. Okay, in the same way, the RNA polymerases, it has given the address that there is the presence of the minus 10 region, which has the TAT, AAT sequence, and it has a minus 35 region, TTG, ACA, which is separated by about 17 to 19 base pair. This it is the address which has been given to the RNA polymerases. So RNA polymerases, it will search for these sequences and now it will get loaded over these sequences. If these conscious sequences, they are present, okay? If these conscious sequences, they are present, at that time, what will happen? There will be the efficient loading of the RNA polymerases, that is the enzyme molecule over the promoter. And as the efficient recognition uh, and the start of the transcription, it has been started, the transcription efficiency, that is the RNA copies synthesized per unit time per enzyme molecule, it will be at a higher level. So the efficiency of the transcription, it is going to be higher one when a promoter, it has its conscious sequences. Okay, so in this way, the promoter strength, it is going to affect the efficiency of the transcription. If the conscious sequences of the promoters, they are present, at that time, the promoter, it will be a strong promoter and it will allow the high efficiency of the transcription. If there will be, if there is any diversion from these conscious sequences, then the efficiency of the transcription, it is going to affect and such a promoters, they will be a weak promoter. Now, we know about the lag promoter, okay? The lag promoter here, 
here lac promoter uh, from the lac promoter the lac uv5 promoter it has been derived when the lac promoter it has been studied it has been found out that at the minus 10 region the lac promoter it has a sequence and that sequence it is a tat gt t okay uh, and our concept sequence just now we have learned it is what it is a tat aat okay when you compare these two sequences what you find okay what you find this aa it has been replaced to the gt means what the lag promoter it is not consisting of the constant sequences of the minus 10 so so what will happen the promoter it is becoming a weak promoter okay so the lag promoter as it is it cannot be used but it has been observed that there are the mutant allele of the lag promoter okay what are there there are the mutant allele of the lac promoter called lac uv5 and this lac uv5 it has the okay it has the canonical minus 10 region okay it has the uh, it has the sequences at the minus 10 region it has a tat aat thus lac uv5 it is a strong promoter than who than the lac promoter and it has been observed that in the lac u5 there is an additional mutation okay what is there there is an additional mutation at the cap binding site and as there is a mutation into the cap binding site the promoter now it is a cap independent what is a cap site where your cyclic mp crp complex it is going to bind that site it is a cap site and who is the crp crp it is the activator of the lac operon okay so here okay so here as there is a mutation into the cap site okay the activator it cannot bind means what the promoter now it is independent of whom it is independent of the activator it is uh, activator crp or the cap okay so here so here this lac uv5 promoter it is making the system glucose independent okay the crp it is going to bind with the cyclic amp cyclic amp levels it is going to fluctuate by the glucose so there is no effect of the glucose it is going to be observed when when there is a mutation into the cap side so lac uv5 it is a independent of the glucose effect okay have understood this okay can we go further now going towards the hybrid promoters in search of the ideal promoter for the high expression of the foreign protein in e coli lead to construction of the artificial hybrid promoters hybrid promoters are the promoters which are um, made with the two different types of the promoters and here it is the example of the tac promoter tac in the tac T stands for the TRP promoter and AC stands for the LAC promoter. Okay, so uh, a hybrid promoter, it is made from the two different types of the promoters. So here there is a use of the two promoters and that two promoters, it is a TRP promoter, the promoter from the tryptophan operon. And just now we have seen LAC UV5 promoter. Okay, so these two promoters, they are used. Okay, now lac u v5 it has a conscious sequences at the minus 10. So the minus 10 region of the lac u v5 it has been taken. And TRP promoter has the conscious sequences at the minus 35 region. So the minus 35 region it has been taken from the TRP promoter. Okay, and when when the construct it has been made, okay, when the construct it has been made, then the distance between the minus 35 minus 10 it is about the 16 base pair and now this tag promoter okay now this tag promoter it is a five times stronger than the lac uv5 and also it is as efficient as the lambda pl promoter with the lambda pl it is the pl it is a promoter of the lambda page it is a very strong promoter and now when the hybrid it has been made the tag promoter it has been made it is how it is as efficient as strong as the PL promoter. Okay. Now, when the tag promoter it has been made, 
okay uh, when the tag promoter it has been derived okay it has been derived from the lag promoter and when when it has been derived from the lag promoter the operator region of the lag it has been came with it okay so there are the operator region of the lag okay DAC promoter it has the operator region of the lag now uh, who is going to bound to the lag operator regulator lag repressor it is going to bound so the system it is a repressible and the system it is also going to be a indicible one okay as there is okay as there is what as there is a presence of uh, as there is a presence of the lack operator where the lack repressor is going to bound and here the promoter it is now an inducible promoter and the inducer which is going to be there it is the iptg which is a artificial inducer next uh there are the derivatives of the tag promoter. It is a TRC and a TIC promoter. The, the both of the promoter, okay, both of the promoters, uh, they, they has the same minus 10 minus 35 region, but only they are differing into here, differing into the separation of the minus 10 minus 35 region. When the separation of the minus 10 minus 35 by the 17 base pair, then it is called as an TRC and a separation when there is a separation of the minus 10 minus 35 region by the 18 base pairs, then it is called as the TIC promoter. Okay. Now there are the controllable promoters. It is a lambda PL, T7, TRC, TAC, and the PBAD promoters. They are there. Uh, I have made the video on these controllable promoters. I will give the link into the description box. Okay. So if you are like my video, video, please subscribe my channel and also share my video with your friends so the knowledge it is going to spread. Thank you.